Andrew Neil dramatically quit GB News back in 2021, just three months after the channel's launch. After his exit, Neil decided to take a back seat on media and turned his hand to launching a podcast and his own Channel 4 special. Andrew recently opened up about his short-lived time on GB News and admitted that the work would have killed him if he had carried on. He touched on the impact social media has on people in today's society and admitted that the negativity he received doesn't faze him. The way I have been treated is a disgrace, he began. But I've been on IRA and Islamic it lists. Some TT on social media isn't going to get at me. Speaking to Radio Times, Andrew also touched on the reasons he left GB News with such haste and explained, it could have killed me. Getting out was definitely good for my health. Andrew was on air for less than two weeks before announcing he was taking a break, which ended with his resignation. In an official statement, he explained, over the summer, I've had time to reflect on my extensive portfolio of interests and decided it was time to cut back. I wish GB News well in continuing to fulfill its founding promise and mission to reach audiences currently underserved by existing news broadcasters. GB News also released a statement about his departure, as they responded, Andrew is, without doubt, one of the finest journalists and interviewers in this country. GB News thanks him for his 12 months of leadership, wisdom and advice, and we wish him well. The channel was launched with a strong editorial vision to cover stories that Andrew said were neglected by other broadcasters and to counter a metropolitan mindset. Andrew has previously described his time with GB News as the worst eight months of my life. Four days before the station launched on June 13, 2021, Andrew was seen welling up after an appearance on ITV's This Morning. Where is good news in Brexit? Andrew Neil challenges David Davis as presenter Philip Schofield wished him good luck on Sunday, Andrew could be seen becoming emotional with his voice faltering in an emotional display. However, a friend of Andrew reportedly told the publication I, the tears weren't because he was leaving this morning. They were the tears of a man finding the pressure and stress of the launch utterly intolerable, feeling like he was about to be hideously exposed and knowing the channel wasn't ready. But certain people weren't listening to him, and he was wondering what on earth he'd done. I think when Philip and Holly, Willoughby, were nice to him, he cracked. He basically needed a hug. On the night of GB News launch, the cameras were out of sync, a microphone failed, and viewers struggled to see what was going on due to poor lighting. At the time, he told the Daily Mail, it just went from bad to worse. There was one day we spent the whole day preparing the program and fixing up a number of interviews down the line because that was the business model. At 1 minute to 8, I sat down, earpiece in, microphone on, only to be told by the director we had no external communications, so I had no guests. During the last hours of the live television show, Andrew was left without an interviewee and scrambled to fill the seats. He described the moment as complete despair and added, it just got worse and worse. At one stage, we were waiting to go on air, and the whole system went down. It had to be rebooted, and we only managed it with 15 seconds to spare. The full interview is available to read at www.radiotimes.com.